Symbiosis, Living Island, or Symbiosis, Ikirare Daishima, is an exhibition about the Inujima Art House project, which is on the small island of Inujima in the Seto Inland Sea. The Inujima Art House project is an evolving, an ongoing project which has been curated by contemporary art curator Hasegawa Yuko and the Pritzker Prize winning architect Sejima Kazuyo. Inujima is the smallest of three islands, the others being Naoshima and Teshima, which are part of the Fukutake Foundation, where art and architecture are employed to create an environment of art tourism within the Seto Inland Sea, where both visitors and inhabitants can interact and create something together. It's an activity of co-creation. The idea behind the exhibition is to explore how art and architecture can be a vehicle to enhance the lives of inhabitants of such a small island. The island is suffering from a dwindling population. It was once a thriving industrial centre with a quarry and a copper refinery. And now the small population is ageing and this project, the Inujima Art House project, allows visitors and inhabitants of the island to interact and to be able to make a better life for, for all. The exhibition features videos, testimonials from inhabitants, various records of how the project started. But the main part is, of course, a large representation created by Kazuyo Sejima and Associates of the island with pathways and the various models of the art houses on the island. The Inujima Art House project also features in the Seto Uchi Triennale, which is the art festival which happens in the Seto Inland Sea every three years. The art houses are in fact existing buildings. The idea of renovation is important to their creation. And each of these art houses contains a temporary installation. For example, Beatrice Miliazic, the Brazilian artist, is at present exhibiting in A Art House. In S Art House, there is an installation by Hojin Haruka. One of the largest art houses on the island is F Art House. And this contains the work of Nawa Kohei. There is also the Inujima Life Garden. This is a space which has been created for inhabitants to be able to grow various plants, but also to meet where visitors and inhabitants can have an opportunity to meet together. There is the Hoppy Bar. This has been created especially so that there is a space yet again for people to be able to interact with each other. A visit to Inujima offers an intimate, and unusual experience. And this intimacy is also something reflected in the exhibition here at Japan House London. The exhibition is in effect a giant map of the island of Inajima. It contains handmade models, videos, videos which record what has happened on the island, but also videos which are considered to be installations within the various art houses or galleries on the island of Inajima and hopefully visitors will be able to take away something from the exhibition which will inspire them to visit the small island of Inujima in the future. <laughs>